are going to go and work on my tailwheel. Okay, we're going to go and remove this tailwheel. We're going to put some new rubber on it. On my 100 hour inspection, I found there was some cracking going on on it. So we're going to, we got some new rubber here, new tube. We're going to crack this open. I've got to make a jig so I can hold it in place and so that I can spin it apart. This is a two piece hub here. So one piece you have to keep in place and then you have to twist it to spin it. And then we can uh, go ahead and pop it all off. And I'm going to use this piece of wood here to make my, um, my plate that I need to spin off this hub. We're going to notch it out and it'll keep it in place here. I'll just nail it on here. All right, there you go. So we got my template. Keeps it in place. It's not going to scratch the hub at all. Next step. Next step, we're going to secure it onto our bench here. Just like this. Nice and solid. So now we just put it in here and hopefully we can spin it off somehow. There you go, got it off. So here's our old tire. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all cracked up around the rim. Definitely time to replace and throw this one out. It's got 400 hours on it, so it's pretty good usage. So the manual from Behringer says to use grease on the threads when you're putting it back on and to use some, something like WD-40 to um, slide the, the new tire rubber on the uh, the main r rim here. So we're gonna put some WD-40, we're gonna clean it up first, put that on, then put some uh, grease on these threads. So I'm going to have to make something stronger here. Oh, so close. Alright, so I figured out what the issue was, why it was stuck so hard. It's because this tire was so tight against the rim. If I had to squeeze it down to get it off of there. And now it'll spin. We got about 35 psi in there right now. That should be good to go. Well, that was a lot more difficult than I thought. Made a little bit of a mess here. Welcome aboard, guys. Today we're doing a very special trip up to BC. Going first to 100 mile house and up through the valley up to Prince George all the way up to Fort St. John and back it's gonna be about eight and a half hours eight hours of flying half an hour fuel stop see this is our first line here the magenta line up to the Rockies 100 mile house then to Williams Lake up to Quinnell, we're gonna land there for fuel. Up to Prince George, Fort St. John, and back to Lake. 
Long day, I got flight fuel with, I got uh, my fuel bladder with, got my oxygen on. We got 140 liters of fuel with. The beautiful high pressure system over the Rockies right now. I also got my spot GPS locator with. It's all charged up, ready to go. Okay, that's it. Good luck, Pujo here. Fox Charlie, Delta Zulu, taking off from line 28 straight out for uh, BC. Good luck. Uh, Fox Charlie, Delta Zulu. Okay, here we go. Full power. Build our speed up. Because we're heavy. And there we go. Up we go. Alright, hey guys. Are we gonna look funny with this thing in my face? Climbing up here. Gonna be going over the mountains fairly soon, about an hour or so. So maybe I'll catch you guys back then. Let you guys look out the window here a little bit. See Edmonton in the distance. Over there. Yeah, you can see here I got my fuel bladder full, it's got pretty much four, 40 liters in there, that's the max it can take. Oxygen's just behind me, it's already turned on. Down there you can see the International Airport. Got Edmonton over there. 8,500 feet. 120 knots. 15 meters an hour. See here in about 50 miles we'll hit mountains here. The yellow part. We're just going to climb up so we're above the terrain. Might have to go to 12.5 at some point. See here as we climb, this yellow and red just disappears. Pretty cool how it transitions. You know you're going to clear that terrain. to our first site. Got a clipboard here with all my different sites printed out.
back on the oxygen. Crossing over some mountains here, just heading for Fort St. John. Little high peaks here. Peaks of about 7,000 feet. We're at 9,500 right now. It's a different system that we're flying into. It's still clear, um, but we might get some turbulence in there. I'm not sure. So it's really high altitude. See, there's just some a line there. So it definitely shows you there's a new kind of system we're flying into. Fight down we break up, kiss down we make up It's driving me to insane now Ooh. And we keep going nowhere, too stuck in the air Westbound A-Star helicopter flying 3000 I'm actually gonna start emptying this My fuel bladder into the tank now I've been flying only on my right wing Just so I'd be able to empty this out Cause I wanna have it empty for when I get back. We're gonna go ahead and open. You have to open up this valve first. And then I'll just hit my switch here. And she's going. Guys, we are 20 minutes out to Cooking Lake. And I'm excited to have a coffee tonight. Uh, it's been a long day of flying. It'll be about four, eight hours of flying. So uh, yeah, I'm ready to get out of here and stretch my legs. 